What we have here is an LG washer dryer combo unit, model number Whiskey Mike 3997 Hotel Whiskey Alpha. Uh, my wife bought this back in 2016 and recently started having an issue where the wash basin would continue to fill with water, slow trickle over the time, you know, when it's not in use. So you'd open the door and the tub would be filled with water. You know, we didn't know what was going on. Called LG customer support. Because we don't have the extended warranty, it was going to cost 125 bucks just to have a tech come out and look at it. So, started looking on the internet, figured we'd uh, see what we could find out for ourselves, and from some of the LG message boards. It turns out that the water inlet valve tends to crap out on this particular model. So, I'm about as handy as Tim the Toolman, Taylor, and Red Green. I figured I'd give it a shot myself, and uh, so... I'm going to show you a few things that I did. This is flipped around backwards, but the cap comes off super easy from the back side. There's just a Phillips head screw right there and right there. And uh, these are the parts that I got from a company, which I'll drop the link in the comments. Um, this part here was like 40 bucks. This is the hot water inlet valve. That one was like $17. You can get them on Amazon, but uh, supporting a small plumbing supply company in Pittsburgh area, uh, you know, it was super easy. So they just came in, and uh, I'm going to pause this real quick, and I'll remove the cap and show you what I'm dealing with. So the lid has been removed, and what you can see here really easily and accessible, the cold water inlet. And the hot water inlet. Uh, what I did personally was just to make sure I know what I'm doing. I went and I numbered each of these with a marker. And then I labeled the hoses with a piece of tape that I can peel back off. Just so that I make sure everything goes back on. Like I said, I don't want to screw this up. Seems pretty simple. There's just a couple of screws right here on the back Phillips head. Unscrew those. The little unit should pop out. I'll plug out, you know, unplug this stuff, plug the new unit back in, hook the water back up, and see what happens. There is a twist tie right here holding all these hoses up to a support frame. Uh, I'll undo that, and I will spare you all the horror of watching me try to do this and film it. So, clearly you can see it seems pretty easy. Uh, I have a pair of pliers that I can use to pinch these clamps that are holding the hoses on. So... Anybody uh, with average handiness like me should be able to do this, but uh, we'll check back in a few minutes and you can see if I did this right or not. Just a quick process check-in. So I unclipped these wires. I've undone the twist tie that was holding the hoses up. This should allow me to be able to get at those clips a little bit easier. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Here's another little helpful hint. Once you've gotten the screws done and the wires are unhooked, it'll make your life a lot easier to pull this unit away so you have easier access to these clips. Uh, they are on there really good and these hoses are proving to be a little bit more of a challenge to get off of there, but so far so good. Another quick check in. So before I hooked all the cold water inlet stuff back in, it was easy to pop out the two screws for the hot water inlet, unhook that wire harness, and then this one made it a whole lot easier to get to. So I was able to pop this one on and off in literally just a few minutes. Well, there we go. Armed with nothing more than that pair of pliers and a Phillips head screwdriver. I was able to get the old parts off, the new parts right back on. Now I've Here's the moment of truth. I'm going to hook the water back up and we'll see what happens. So I'm starting up just a quick wash cycle. I don't want to go too heavy with it. Uh, I actually bought new water hoses. So I got <laughs> what, you know, blue cold, red hot, easy enough to remember. But yeah, all right, well, we'll see how it goes. But that's how easy it was to replace. Uh, the cold water and the hot water inlet on an LG washing uh, drying machine. So, hope that helps. If anybody needs 